iOS apps have had swipe to delete functionality for as long as I can remember. But in more recent years, they've grown in functionality so you can have multiple buttons and even have them on either side of your list rows. We get this functionality to us in SwiftUI through a new swipe actions modifier, which lets us register one or more buttons on one or both sides of our list rows. Now, by default, buttons are placed on the trailing edge of the row, that's a right-hand side for left-to-right languages, and it'll have no color. So we could show a single gray button when we swipe from right to left. There's a list with one fixed item in saying Taylor Swift. Inside here, I'll place some swipe actions, and I'll say it's a button that when tapped, prints high, and has a label saying send message, with a system image of message, like that. And let's press Command R so see how that actually looks on the device. So it's Taylor, when I swipe up, there's our icon here. And you can carry on swiping to trigger that straight away and get high. Now you can customize the edges on which your buttons are placed by adding an edge parameter to your swipe actions modifier. You can then customize the colors of your buttons using a new tint modifier, passing in a color of your choosing, or of course, by using a button roll. So we could say, I want to have one button on one side and one button on the other side, uh, by saying something like this, I'll have a swipe action on one side, saying, uh, let's do uh, button roll destructive. Like this, this, oh, dot destructive, sorry, there we go. Destructive here. Uh, and it will just say print deleting. And this will be a label saying delete with a system image of minus dot circle. And that will be the button on our on our right or our trailing edge. But then we'll add a second swipe action here. Swipe actions with edge of dot leading. And there'll be a button here and it'll do print pinning. It's pinning for the fjords. <laughs> label. Uh, here will be a label pin, system image pin, and this one I'll give a tint of an orange color so it stands out a little bit against the delete. And now I'll get a swipe right with our red delete button. But we can also swipe the other way to get a pin like that. So it's very flexible. Of course, you can add more buttons to each one of these things if you want to have two or three if you really want to. Now, just like context menus, the same warnings apply here. These swipe actions are, by their very nature, hidden to the user by default. And so it's important not to hide critical functionality in there. You know, the swipe to delete has been there a long time, but we still have an edit button to delete items because not everyone knows about swipe to delete. And we'll be using both context menus and uh, swipe actions in this project. So you can see them both side by side and compare and contrast them directly and see what you think you prefer to have in various situations.